Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's crack on. Uh, now, a number of you have raised a few questions about some of the other videos, so here's a quick rundown. Here's the size of the object that I'm going to apply the shader to. It's set with a scale of 1, so if that differs, that can affect how the material gets applied. The scene setup is basic shape, camera, three lights pointing at um, the target via the constraints, a backdrop, and then a light pointing at that backdrop. Nice and simple. So we can head over to the shading tab. We're using a uh, viewport shading and the cycles render engine. For this particular material, shading flat. So while you're in object mode, right click and shading flat is better. Although you can apply it to a smooth shaded um, object as well. I already have a principal shader hooked into the material output. And I'm using version 3 of Blender here as it seems to be the most stable. If you're using a more recent version, there are some changes to some nodes, including the Mix RGB. I'm not using that one in this particular demo, um, but do look out for that in the future. So, the first thing that we need to do is press Shift A and add a wireframe node. And we are going to plug that directly into the base color. You can already see what's happening here. Now, I have got a subdivision modifier um, activated with two levels of subdivision. If I disable that, you can see that it will change according to however much geometry you've got going on with your object. Now, it's quite clunky at the moment. So the value in here, we're going to put as 0.005. Now we can control the colors of both the background and the um, wireframe. In fact, actually I'm going to change that value to 0 0.001. So to control those colors, shift A, search for a color ramp and drop that between the wireframe and the base color. If we're going for a sort of a blueprinty effect, we're going to increase the value and the saturation to one and the hue to 0.61. And then we're going to leave this as white. Doesn't really make a huge difference which interpolation mode you're using, but you can always have a play and find different um, variations if you want to. Now, uh, I don't know whether I've got anything going on here. Hmm. No, let's try a sphere. Oops shutting down the wrong thing okay with the switch sphere the sphere you can see there is highlights going on and that's coming from the specular value and we can control the fact that the wireframe would be rough and the um, color in between will be uh, reflective using this wireframe value so we plug that into the specular now it's actually reversed, so it's going uh, glossy on the wires and rough on the color. So we can search for an invert node and just drop that between the wireframe and the specular value. So now we have glossy bits, but our wireframe is actually um, rough, still visible. And believe it or not, that's everything. It's a nice, simple one. So if I switch back to Suzanne from the sphere, we can see how that's kind of now picking out all the detail that's going on in that geometry, including all of the extra subdivisions via that modifier. It does work on things like cubes as well, but with cubes, you would have to select it, go into the edit mode, and subdivide to get extra faces. Any changes you make to the uh, 
text no the fat edges um no hang on faces so triangulations and tries to quads and all that will also make a difference to where those lines fall so if i triangulate the faces you can see it's now got lots of diagonal lines going on in it so you can see plenty to play with there if i just bring back suzanne and we can send that to render uh what am i using here 1024 can drop that quite a bit oops not that oh dear divide not multiply there we go let's go down to 256 And there we go, nice simple blueprint wireframe effect. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Any questions, drop them below the video. And of course, to get this file along with everything else that goes into it, um, so that you can inspect it and play around with the original settings, do head over to Gumroad and grab it for a dollar. In the meantime, thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe before you go.